All right, music fans, uh, welcome back. It is I, Dave, the real music observer, doing what I do, which is to observe real music in real time for real people, just like you and just like me. Uh, almost 10 years ago, actually you got to go to April 22nd, 2008, uh, Paul Davis left planet Earth. And, you know, I was listening to some Paul Davis music the other day, I do not know anybody in the music business who wrote songs like Paul Davis. I just don't. Um, you know, you would say he didn't have a lot of them. He had maybe eight or nine great songs, two or three just, you know, mind-boggling tunes. And you have to look at the first one, which is I Go Crazy, uh, back in 1978. I don't know of a ballad that is better than I Go Crazy. I just don't. Between the production, between the singing, between his delivery, uh, the emotion in the song, the use of this quiet synthesizer in there sets a mood, and Davis just kills it. He was just a one-of-a-kind singer. Uh, and... You know, I probably listened to 65 Love Affair before I listened to anything else by Paul Davis. But then you got to listen to tunes like Do Right, which has this kind of Christian overtone to it. He's basically just asking, you know, he wants to do right, and he just, you know, it's one of those struggles. He just can't do it, but um, he wants to. And a great song. Also, Sweet Life. Uh, cool Night was a humongous hit when... Uh, I was listening to the radio as a young teenager or middle-aged teenager at the time. Uh, but this guy had a whole bunch of other great tunes. Uh, you have to kind of dig into his catalog a little bit to understand his brilliance and just a, a phenomenal talent. And it's amazing that he is obviously still on the radio. Uh, the programmers uh, can't ignore Paul Davis uh, at least on those soft rock stations, they've got to have I Go Crazy on there, and they've probably got to have Cool Night and 65 Love Affair on there. Not sure if they put Sweet Life or Do Right on, but those are equally fantastic songs. Paul Davis had something just otherworldly when it uh, came to singing, songwriting. Uh, he's also a dude that kind of looked like Greg Allman, so you, you were looking at him and what was coming out of his mouth. It's kind of the same thing for a lot of people with Willie Nelson. Uh, you look at him and you go, really? You're singing this? And Paul Davis was at the top of that list. He just didn't look like the guy singing these songs. You know, he wasn't Cliff Richard. He was, he was Paul Davis. Uh, and he was a great keyboard player, apparently. And life ended for him way too soon at 60 years old. Uh, a heart attack took his life about 10 years ago. Uh, the anniversary of that is, again, April 22nd. So Paul Davis, an American icon, one of the great singer-songwriters, unheralded. I doubt anyone would ever consider him for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which is a shame, because he's got a niche, and he just hit it out of the park with his niche. You don't see a lot of soft rock kind of artists in the Hall of Fame, which is a tragedy because <laughs> ballads and romance and, you know, having this kind of music was, used to be very essential to Top 40 and adult contemporary radio. Now it's just evolved into I'm not sure what. But Paul Davis, uh, we miss him. His music, of course, lives on, and one of the greats. And uh, go listen to some Paul Davis. And if you want to have a romantic evening with your spouse, go put on some Paul Davis. Get a CD, get a compilation, and uh, enjoy yourselves. All right? <laughs> Don't enjoy yourselves too much. Well, wow. Um, anyway, I'm Dave. This is The Real Music Observer. And yes, uh, just call me Delilah, okay? All right. We'll chat again soon. Talk to you then.